Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Well, I just nipped outside to give the dogs a bit of a run in the garden and came across this little fella. He was on top of the guinea pig hutch and uh, I saw one bird land near to it and I thought, oh, I'll rescue him. And then I thought, oh, while I've got him in my hands, I'll pop him on a bit of perspex and see if I can get a shot of him like uh, Richard Webb did. Good inspiration, Richard Webb. But um, might be here sometime waiting for him to wake up. The settings I came to 250th, ISO 125, and F6.3. I've got my softbox again, <laughs> big old softbox. I've got that set on low power, and it seemed to be giving quite a nice reflection. So once he wakes up, I'll see if I can get a few frames of him. <laughs> Well, it's slowed down a bit now, but just tell you my settings. I was on 250th of a second F9 at ISO 125, and I found that I needed a lot larger piece of perspex because, as you can see here, he was slithering from one to the other, and my backdrop nearly always had this, this white piece of perspex in it, which I'll have to take out in Photoshop, but, and I also found the lower the angle, obviously, the better the reflection, so. But uh, yeah, that's the settings, 250th, F9, ISO 125, and a nice low angle, and a much larger piece of perspex you'll need. So my model's had enough now and gone to sleep. Here's a few frames that I managed to capture of him, or her. <laughs> well, he's had five minutes on the perspex calling about now, seems to have slowed down a bit, so I'm going to take the perspex outside in amongst the weeds and let him crawl back to where he should be. Good bit of fun, that, anyway. Thank you, Mr Snail, you've been a great model. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Catch up soon. <laughs>